right, today we're gonna make milk punch. So this is a clarified cocktail using milk. So four ounces of lemon juice, two ounces of honey syrup. So this is a one-to-one -one ratio of water to honey. Two ounces of orgeats. You can find that recipe under tiki drinks. So what's important to keep in mind is that this needs to be stored while it's being clarified in the fridge. If not, you're gonna get spoiled milk. Eight ounces of gin. Now, if you don't like gin, um, this one will work very well with a dark rum, bourbon, or rye. Um, and then you're gonna add in another eight ounces of whole milk. This is gonna curdle, and what's gonna happen is you're gonna clarify the drink. So if you're familiar with consommes, um, instead of floating to the top, everything's gonna float to the bottom, and you're gonna have a 100% clear cocktail that is stable for months. So you can see here, adding in the milk, and it instantly begins to curdle. So we're gonna let this sit for at least 24 hours, up to three days. The longer it sits, the more complex it gets and uh, it's absolutely delicious. I like to get let mine sit for about 72 hours. So here, this is after 24 hours, um, just to show you what it looks like. And you can see that it's completely separated. On the top is the clear cocktail itself. Do keep in mind that when you are making this recipe that if you decide to add a little less sugar, these drinks, because of the milk added, can become um, a little tart and you might lose that sweetness or the flavor of the spirit. And we're just gonna strain this through a coffee filter. Um, and we're not gonna push it, we're just gonna let it kind of strain with gravity, just pour it in slowly, and we're gonna let it sit, as long as it takes. It can take up to two to six hours, just kinda depends on the coffee filter. If you need to change out the coffee filter, change it out. But we're not gonna play around with it, we're gonna kinda just let it go. And you can see almost immediately the cocktail coming out is completely clear. So we're gonna let this go, and if you need to strain it again, go ahead and do it again so you get a perfectly hurt cocktail. And of course, you need a large cube so you can see how clear you made your milk punch. And we're just gonna stir three ounces of your milk punch over ice. And then we're gonna pour this over the large cube. And I'm sure if you've seen this in restaurants, Bartenders love to show it on a large cube so they can show how clear they got their milk punch. So that's kind of like their one up to other bartenders is look how clear my milk punch is. So the bigger the cube, the better it looks. And feel free to play around with this if you want to add a different sweetening agent or a different spirit. Um, do keep in mind that because of the milk added, this will change the, the flavor. So just remember that you're gonna to wanna to add always a little bit more alcohol than you think is necessary, as well as sweetness. Um, please enjoy, and if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like, and please subscribe, and uh, go make some milk punch.